Okay, so Legos got shot last chapter. Um, spoiler. So it looks like we're jumping forward to Louis and his perspective now. It's been a while since we've seen this guy. So definitely should be a nice uh, change of pace. I'm a little salty at, not gonna lie, I'm a little salty at last chapter for uh, the way Legos he was acting. So, I don't know, probably cool down with Louis. <laughs> Let's see. Welcome to Beastars Chapter 130. His lead-colored prosthetic leg is sometimes rainbow-colored under the sun. Let's see, so we have Louis here, just chilling, studying, probably for like entrance exams or something like that. I believe he mentioned it the last time he saw Legosi at the hospital. Let's see. This report's due in two days. I'll work a little more and then go to sleep. I feel that. <laughs> Bathroom. He got shocked. Oh, it must be pain. Okay, so this right here, this is um if it's if it's going the right, I think it's going. It's probably because Legos he got hurt, more than likely. Because this I believe his left foot. Or was it his right foot? I forget. I forget which foot it was, but uh it's probably because Legos got got hurt, so that's Prob this this whole thing is probably just to showcase that they have a genuine bond now. <laughs> a metaphysical bond with each other. So we'll see. And so Lu Louis screams. Uh, they come in. What's going on? That's Oguma and the butlers. Alright, so this right here. Um, Oguma's dad of the year. He has servants and yet he's the first one to charge in. Because he thinks his son's in trouble. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. They're behind him. Like, what do we pay you people for? Daddy comes in with the... What is that? A stun net or something? What is it? The, hey, father, you're supposed to knock before you come in. What's with the oversized stun, stun gun? Oh, wow. It's for warding off intruders. Why are you on the floor? I just tripped, that's all. Ow. It's your prosthetic leg acting up. Okay, so it is his leg, and it was the right one. Actually, my right leg's cross-section hurts. Has this happened before? This is the first time it's happened. So the other part that's in Lego, see? Uh-oh. Chapter... Page 4. Okay. 130, page 4. Oops, let's see. 130... We can't overlook this. Call the doctor here at once. Yes, sir. No, you don't need to. This pain doesn't require the doctor's attention. It... It's just... What? Tell me. Well, I just think we should see if it gets better tomorrow. He's worried about... Lego, see? And I like how Oguma is so... Protective of Louie. <laughs> Definitely daddy of the year. I felt like I'd gotten my foot back. That's impossible. I mean, I made Lego seed all of it. To my knee. Up to my knee. Did something happen to Lego seed? Wait, did he die? There's no way. The sense of foreboding. I should ignore it. I'll finish my report. I'm sorry for disturbing you, Father. Hmm. I have my own life. I can't be worrying about him forever. Who knows what will happen if I get myself involved with Lego, see that troublemaker. Besides, my right foot stopped hurting when I woke up this morning. That sense of foreboding was nothing. Green and yellow salad. This is what, uh... Oh, actually, it's right here. Yeah. This is what a uh, Ibuki used to bring him. I got you some veggies, boss. You need to take care of your body. Ever since yesterday, I've been more apt to think about carnivores. Ibuki. 
I thought giving Legosi my right foot would free me of my curse of being born a weakling. My leg hurts every time something out of the ordinary happens to Legosi. This happened during the events of Chapter 113? What happened to Chapter 113? Oft, I often dream about Ibuki and the Shishigumi members. Don't use too much silver <laughs> silver vine. Oh yeah, that's that uh that plant that they sniff to get them stimulated. And I got kissed by a female underclassman wolf who felt sorry for me because of my prosthetic foot. Hey, but the biggest problem The only son of the Horns conglomerate is eating lunch by himself? You look like you're struggling with your prosthetic foot. Why don't we give you a hand? Hey man, leave him alone. Oh, is he trying to bully Louie? I'm attracting the attention of scumbag university students. I feel like my prosthetic foot has given me a few... has given me a new curse. I'm fine. Thanks for your concern. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, don't mess with Louie, though. I wonder how he's gonna handle himself, because... It's weird, like, he's not, he's not on top of the world anymore, he's not king of the school anymore, like he was at Cherryton, he's in college now, so, he's on, like, even footing with everyone else, like a fresh start, but look at this, this is the face of a thug, <laughs> let's see how Louis uh, responds, quit with the fake smile, there are rumors about you and all around the, there are rumors about you all around the university, is it true that you took charge of a scary organization in the back alley market while you were on break from high school? I guess it's true that good looking guys keep the most secrets. I see their tails between their legs, between their thighs. Okay, what's that mean? Okay, so this is a flashback to the Shishigumi. Hey, pull his tail in front of him, boss. This will stop most carnivores from moving, and then kick his chest with all your weight. Oh shit! He just Louis just kicked him in the chest. He could fight. This is what um this is what Ibuki taught him. Probably like self defense for people who bother him. <laughs> oh, that's dope. So they actually taught him some skills. Louis for president. Louis for B star. Awesome. Kick his chest with all your weight. And finally, give him a cutting retort. That's awesome. Let's see. Does a disabled deer really look so appetizing to you? Go back to the back alley market. Suck on a bone and shut your trap. He's still a thug. Let's go. Old Louie is still in there. I love to see it. Louie is at his best. Uh, just like Juno, Louie is at his best when he's just dominating like ah oh, it's just such a good character man that's such a good scene I can't wait to see this play out in like an anime or something kick him in his chest with all your weight and finally give him a cutting retort <laughs> that's awesome I think the Shishigumi style punishment method is a little too extreme. Well, they started it. My body is still very influenced by carnivores. Put some hair on your chest, young man. This is mostly because I lived with the Shishigumi for half a year. I broke my ties with them, but I still can't get them out of my mind. No, oh, did he wander there? How far is it from his uh, campus? Back alley market is beyond that wall. I wonder if the Shishigumi are what the Shishigumi are doing today. I wonder if the Shishigumi are doing okay. There we go. To put it in business terms, I wash my hands of a dirty job. I promised that I'd never see them again, but with my prosthetic foot, my economics textbooks and laptop feel so heavy they feel like a burden. Like this is where he belongs. Essentially, this is where he was born. Unless he wasn't really born here, unless he was abducted. But I think Louis was actually born in the back alley market to be sold as livestock. I think that was already established. We'll see. Do you want a Dado? Dado. She's selling herself? 
Get it together, you're just embellishing your memories. They're a ruthless gang of punk lines, for crying out loud. I came back to father to succeed the Horns conglomerate. I shouldn't have taken a trip down memory lane. I'm going back to the mansion. If that ever was a sentence, I'm going back to the mansion. <laughs> That's right. I stopped worrying about my bonds with carnivores when I graduated high school. I need to focus on being a member of society. But he can't stop thinking about Ibuki. And there goes free right there too. Let's see. <gasps> Wait a minute. There's no way Ibuki's alive. No, he's 100% dead. There's no way. Why? Are you alive? It can't be. Hey! Wait! Ibuki! Ibuki! Alright, let's see. Oh, it's the Shishigumi. Is it really Ibuki? There's no way that's Ibuki. But boss Oh. It wasn't him. Damn it, why'd you come here? Why? It's over. This is your fault. This is your fault, ex-boss. I thought you remembered my promise that if I saw you again, I'd eat you alive. A member of the Shishigumi must always keep his promises. <gasps> Did he get... Did he really shoot him? But they love Louis, though. There's no way he shot him. Not free. Actually, because it's free, yeah, he probably got shot. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's a cliffhanger. There's no... Well, there's blood right there. Did he really shoot him? Definitely not to kill, I don't think. But there's no way. So is it memor... So is this mirroring what's happening to Legacy, I wonder? That's interesting to think about if that's the case. That... Ooh. I don't know, man. They look... They... These are his boys. They love Louie. We'll see. Aw, oh, man. That would really suck. And he's so happy to see them, too. Well. Surprised to see him, it looks like. Anyway, we'll find out during the next one. This has been Beastars Chapter 130. Um, I hope you liked it and enjoyed this chapter. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I will see you during the next one. Uh, look out for Chapter 131. Bye now. Be good to each other.